Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Tales of Arise. Today, uh, before we leave, one click, side quest check. Should I just check, right? Should I check to see this guy? Y you would assume that I would be updated if he was got like clothed, maybe. It has been like 30 Looks hours. Like made it here. Is that true, Chronos? Maybe? Yeah, it actually has been 30 hours and a half since I started this game. So, at the very least, it's been like 28 hours for this dude. Mm-hmm. Alright, hopefully it doesn't reset every time I talk to him. That'd be kind of... <laughs> that would be a dick move. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be hilarious, but it'd still be a dick move. So, I really can't buy anything, so... We're kind of... I mean, I could buy something. But not a lot of things. Mahavav. Yeah, that's how you pronounce your name. Let's go. I like the way this thing looks. Uh, it kind of looks like, actually, the Pentagruel, doesn't it? A little bit. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Uh, it won't be for long that you'll be able to Never do it. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. We're replacing you as soon as we can. All ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Does this thing have any weapons? Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. Yeah, that would be bad. Your party disbanded. You're now all I alone. Know, said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to Oh do no, Kassara. Are you? I guess I'll check in on everyone. Why is the music so loud? Kasar, are you alright? Are you gonna get sick? You don't look so good. Are you alright? The floor. It keeps moving. How can you stand it? How can you even stand? You're standing. I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain. Remember? So that means you can't feel nausea either? I still can't believe what happened in Niaz, even now, as a lord. Yeah, you did look like you're gonna get sick there. Madria were already pretty low, but the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Dan in lives. Yeah, and it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean Deadheim? The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadheim. I mean, it's not it that used complicated. To be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Uh. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadheim for a moment... The Renans have been a lot worse? Yeah, you're right. People, ...but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Doalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths all Madria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. Oh, there's always I a class a system in the, world, told in the me. world. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. 
He wanted to rule over others. To hear Relatable. Tell it, Bruno, Jedi sorry. Wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Dark Wings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? Yeah. But that world isn't the yeah. one we want to create, right? Ending slavery is a big thing. Maybe not. But to it's tell a pretty you the big truth, thing. These days, I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. I am pretty cool. You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Still a little rough. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. <laughs> I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just... Give me a wide berth for or a, few a bucket. Minutes. Actually, you just do it into the ocean. The fish will eat it. That's disgusting, Cronus. I know. Um, yeah. So we don't really know what 300 years ago was like, right? Rinwell said one thing that there was a king. There's always going to be a ruler, ruler, ruling party of some sort. Uh, there's always going to be some class system, invisible or otherwise. Uh, but yeah, no. Fighting the Renans does have a point aside from what she was mentioning, is that's ending slavery. That is a huge deal to get rid of. <laughs> like, especially for the slaves, right? Yeah, taking into account the class system and everything like that, but at the same time, being, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a weird perspective there. I guess what she's trying to say. You can't replace tyrants with, uh, Renan tyrants with Dick like Dan and Tyrants. That's completely true. Do you think Law is okay? No, you should have shot him again. If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah, I think maybe I should apologize. You have to nothing you. to apologize for. I should apologize to all of you, really. No, you shouldn't. Us too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. Who I are was you? blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. I kind of figured your whole crew was dead. You told us that they were all we dead, weren't you? Didn't you? Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done. Like it's shooting law. You've helped save along the way. Those people too. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. That's fair. She killed your family. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeye. Yeah, they suck. But then there are people like Law. And Who Shion. backstabbed Danans and betrayed his oh, father. Yeah. Much. I don't know what to think anymore. Shion's pretty dope. I, I, you know, she's kind of a, a sun, Sundari, I think it's called. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <sighs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go oh, away. Oh, it made him feel better. Do you see him after that cutscene? What are Law you talking about? Fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. How could you regret that? Right? 
He didn't regret it at all. What are you talking about? Well, Madria, when this is all over, it's up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Yeah, and she'll die. Just please, Rinwell. Carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. I mean, she's what? She's, her actual age is like twelve, but she's actually like, you know, freaking um, four. But back then, after the fight, I think I really made Shion mad. I don't know though. Maybe it just looked that way. But I guess I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Shion's probably years of solitude. She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? Probably from experience. I wonder how it feels not being able to hold another person's hand. Probably like, well, probably fine. Honestly, from my experience. But, uh, if you want it, it's usually you want something you can't have, right? It probably eats her up inside. <sighs> okay, so I am really enjoying Tales of Arise. I thought it's been a really fun experience. And uh, all that jazz. I will admit, this is coming... Yeah, this is really kind of weird. So... Honestly... If they wanted to make the whole vengeance isn't right thing, that should have started earlier, right? And when I say earlier, I mean it should have started with the first Renan Lord, right? We, you know, we kill him, maybe shit hits a fan some other way around or something, or I guess there wasn't really no vengeance there at the first Renan Lord. So I guess in the second Renan Lord, right? Kills Ganon Belt. Does his little victory speech, does a pretty awesome cutscene where he uppercuts him into the 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 astral energy orb thing. And uh everyone's happy. The only moody part about Law after that is like, well, I can't stay here because I spent years <laughs> arresting people and making their lives horrible. So obviously I can't stay here because they'll probably want to kill me. Which Really? Understandable. Completely understandable. But, you know, that was the only thing he talked about. And then later on, we had a little skit where he's like, yeah, it's... I'm kind of thinking about my dad and how we never really had a chance to talk. And, like, even Zephyr didn't have any last words of him. He died from the, the poison before he could even say anything to law. Which I think is a nice touch, because a lot of times in, in video games and movies, when someone's dying, they go on, like, a ten-minute monologue... And you're like, are you dying or are you just reciting a speech? But no, I thought he died without saying anything at all. That's, I think it was a nice touch. And that could lead into some doubt for Law, absolutely. But, uh, yeah, he hasn't really shown any sort of real regret outside of that first few area, right? It's like we get the skit afterwards in that cave where he mentions some regret, and then then there's nothing. He talks about his father once in a while, but he he's, he gets sad obviously because he's dead. Like no, no, he doesn't even get sad. He's like, yeah, I, you know, my dad used to do this, and then that's it. He's shown no emotions towards being unhappy about killing Ganabel, unhappy about his past as a, a, a little goddamn snitch for the Renans outside the first area. If he had shown stuff like that, maybe he comes and he just has like a bout of depression throughout the whole time we have them until like, I don't know, this part where he s tries to stop Rinrel from following in his path or something like that. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I We let Kizilek get away or I should say, Kisara let Kisla let get away, but even she was like, he's not worth standing my my uh, my mace with, right? He wasn't even worth killing. He's so insignificant 
that it's not really like worth killing him. And that's more of an insult to what I think of Renan than anything else, to be quite honest. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, what I'm really hoping does not happen is that, like, we get to Almadria and just like, oh, you know, I forgive you. <laughs> like, how, like, there is no way she was gleefully laughing as people were liquefied and summoned a big ass monster against us. It's not like she's going to turn over a new goddamn leaf. Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Then I think that's what he wants. See fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crime. Oh, you mean contest. me killing all the lords? Yeah, probably. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Yeah. Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And she got a lot of astral and energy. To amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. Well, so that's... Why would Almadria do Have you like seen that? this game? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. What about that fruit? Doesn't it amplify no the astral energy? That something like the hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. I mean, yeah. In that respect, I'd do it. Least, Cronus, so I, I, I would do it tastefully she did, and ethically. As utterly despicable as it is. Yeah. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only I would be doling, but like, similar with actually pure intentions. due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. I know. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead Eye did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. That's true. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. Or what I taught him that, is that the conflict he needs to kill them at any means. Versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well... You seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really- I would kick his ass. What are you talking about? <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. This music is super loud in this area. Law, what up? I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Didn't he say the ship was Thanks. empty? I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. 
Yeah. Too bad Ever he's dead. He died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. You think? If there was something I could have done. I don't know, maybe no, not try to I kill him when you first saw him? I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? No. Or did I just end up making things harder for her? Yeah. I feel like such a screw up. Agreed. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Probably be all what high and mighty about it, but at I the same time, he's dead. Rinwell. Right, Law? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. I feel like Zephyr probably would have had her open up about her past before long. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Honestly, yeah, if Zephyr was here, with the way he was talking to, like, Rinwell before all this, he probably would have had her explain everything, and hell, probably would have went through like a goddamn therapy session with her up until this point. I just still would fucking killed her. Well, Amadria. Especially after he saw her like get like liquefy all those people. Lean much further, you'll go overboard. Hey, if you electrify yourself in the water, does that spread? Because I'm thinking of a nice Amadria new uh, mystic art. I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia. The lush green glades of Menencia. The harsh wastes of Calaglia. I wouldn't call that a wonder. But Menencia has its lake of death. Aeneas, it's ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually managed to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. <laughs> Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere. If it can happen in one place, it can happen in others, so yeah, that's it's possible. Just, it's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. To be yeah, fair, the Renans and Menencia were forced to do too. it, so... A world where everyone and they grew to along. accept it At overall. Least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet, they didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. That's true. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. Hug? Oh, hug? No, no hug. Handhold. How lewd. His hand just falls off. You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Ever since I was on That's still Monica, causing damage, right? I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? <sighs> now it's time for a hug. Elvin, bring it in. Do you still not remember your past? Absolutely not. No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember, but then this mask stops me. 
Why haven't we worked to get the rest of that off? You from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. Seriously, can we not get a hacksaw and just like... Well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? And then you can then give it to me! Can... Uh... <laughs> Shion? Sorry. Am I gonna get a sweet sorry. sword from this Renis Alma thing? Oh. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. It has been 30 hours, so I'm, I'm assuming... I made it this far on my own. 15 to 20 hours everyone left. everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alfred. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Especially me. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Seriously, why didn't I get a hacksaw yeah, and just cut this thing off? Are. There's gonna be someone that can do that in this world. It's not even like there's like a thin side on one side that would be easy to cut through and snap off. What if I get like a lot of butter? I wonder how much longer it's going to be before we catch up to in this lube up my head. Do you think I can just pull it off? Yeah, I mean totally. Also, how the hell is my hair this short? Right? Yeah, no, hold up. I know it's anime, but at the same time, <laughs> Kronos, it's been how many hours since you've gotten this top of your head? <laughs> I know, okay? But if he had that helmet on for for a while, I don't know how long, he's we're headed on for like the year that he remembers, right? Uh, so we can just assume he's headed on for a year or so. He's here. Maybe he was bald when it was put on. Oh, that would make some sense, I guess. Alright, bye, Shion. You should just give her a hug, though. Probably freak her the hell out. Might be worth it. Hi. Rest, I guess. Look who's up. Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. Good. Get the cannons ready. <laughs> that is... That's <laughs> the ship? That is too Huge. big. <laughs> Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. As long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. I'm gonna be very noisy. What will you do if they catch on to us? Run? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. How about you ready the cannons now? Then go next to their hull and blow holes into it. And then get the hell out of here as it sinks. Persistent little things. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. Why is there always a Renan girl with her eyes closed? Hungry already, my dear. No, I'm good. I just had lunch. Worry not. For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. So we're not going to fight you, but your, like, little Zoogle dude? Kind of like his elect? Perfect. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find all major. How about this? We go inside. We kill... Everyone, and the big ship is now our ship. It seems like it would be extremely hard to actually navigate this goddamn thing. Mobile Fortress Gradia. 
<gasps> Am I gonna be able to get dog tags? Am I gonna be able to farm money? Cause I need it. Members have returned to your party. Woo. Shion, um, I want to thank you. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. All right. Well, let's get. Now that's what I call a ship. That's what I call yeah. a knife. The biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelzalik may well have been smuggling material. Kelzalik, Kelzalik, whatever. In which case, it would be yet another mistake on my part. Yeah. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere too? Yeah, I guess I could. If they say have it. trade, yeah. But what do you think all Madria plans to do from here on out? Now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea. She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. The other lord something would... to that effect, at least. Isn't there only two left? Put it past Aside her. from you, Doholim? She's strong, yet shrewd. And will stoop to any low. A dangerous one, indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Sounds like you've made up your mind already. Yeah, stab! There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Oh god, we had all those talks then. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute. Hmm? That mask of yours. It was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. Look, you Transformers is gonna be pissed if you guys keep saying that shit. Yeah, that's right. Although to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? It's nothing. Poetry. Forget I said it. He comes from Batman. All right, how are we looking here? Elevator, of course. Always got to be an elevator. Uh, just quick. <laughs> Bro, are you really looking for side quests? Right? Yes. All right. So we will explore this area next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all then.